And apparently there's less chaos in uh, Jackbox stream. Less chaos in Jackbox stream. Yeah. But there's chaos in the chat because people always come in and say, hey, can we play? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Anyway, hi, welcome to the stream. Hi, stream. Stream! Noises! Uh, sounds, voices, things. They stream. are occurring. <laughs> Okay, I have working pen, so I don't have to try doing this with a touch pad. That's good. Going to be, going to be awkward, though. Another voice, many voices, multiple voice, three in total. I... Unless someone else wants to join, in which case... Ooh. Hang on. Ooh, Let me show you the scene as, as it's evolving. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bug fub. These are not very good ears, but also I'm doing this on a bamboo that I'm not very familiar with. That is a terrible circle. <laughs> oh, drawing, drawing circles is impossible, don't worry about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh for for reference <laughs> um ragdoll is angry at paperwork and decided to take it out on everybody by suggesting that we do a random furby name generator challenge <laughs> <laughs> um so we have that <laughs> and we all know what furbies look like <laughs> we all know what furbies look like we didn't have to look it up beforehand <laughs> Apparently, they do not have arms, uh, but we'll probably change that. <laughs> or I will, at least. <laughs> we will make this as cursed as humanly possible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be prepared for curses. <laughs> See, I, I wanted to try and draw the looming Furby, like, sort of Majora's Mask-esque moon before stream started. <laughs> uh, and then my pen on the tablet PC decided, no, we're just going to be dead today. Not good. Not See, good even even, <laughs> even it's, your it's, tablet... It's just a pen. <laughs> even your tablet pen refused the Furby. <laughs> well, unfortunately for it, I have another tablet... It just means that the drawings are going to suck more, so they're going to be even more cursed. Hell yeah, Hooray. that's what we're here for. We're here for curses, apparently. Yeah, um. <laughs> always. I'm gonna make this curse. <laughs> you oh, want curses? Yeah. I'm gonna make this curse. <laughs> Jeep's gonna have fun time cursed. Cursings. Cursing? I guess cursing, yeah. Excellent. We've already started pretty well. <laughs> With uh, Inquisitive Knife Furby. <laughs> that one's not cursed. That one's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. <laughs> this is my best attempt at drawing a cat Furby from memory. Um, they're, they're just trying to help their mum in the kitchen. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just trying to help. Yeah. Their mum slipped and fell on a knife, and they're wondering if another knife would help. <laughs> Exactly. It all makes sense. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right, yeah, so we have this random name generator. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know Furbies had names. No. <laughs> so <laughs> I have no expectation of structure for this, but uh, yeah. who would like to draw the first, the, fur, the fur, furbst? <laughs> would like to draw the furbst? <laughs> would you like to draw the furbst? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I want to be the Furbs. Okay, whose name do you want? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I will. I will give you Nam. Okay, give me Nam. Um, give me Nam. I will make curse. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Okay, draw this. Mm -hmm. Draw a Furby whose name is Two Thousand Fire, Two Thousand Eyes. 
<laughs> Fresh out the gate, just off to the races. Two thousand fire, two thousand eyes. Okay, interesting. <laughs> um, the first bit. That's well. The eyes um, are a prominent feature of the Furby, right? Biblically yeah. accurate Furby, yeah. <laughs> On fire, <laughs> many eyes. <laughs> Let's start with furb shape. Or my best furb shape as I know it. Because I definitely know what furbies look like. <laughs> this feels like this furby was named like racehorses are named. <laughs> just, just whatever? <laughs> we've, we've run out of pre-existing names so we're just doing whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All feetsies. That's the man. That's one of the important parts that I know now. How do you find these things? <laughs> that's what I want to know. What? Na Furbies or name generators? The Furby name generator. How do you? How, how? How is that a thing that just crops into your life? Um. Well, you see, I get into some weird places on the internet. Uh. Also, I'm sort of tangentially around. Um the dream with RP circuit and some cursed shit happens in dream with RP, especially, well, actually no. And even in the serious games, cursed shit happens. Cursed shit happens <laughs> in the serious games and the silly games. And one of the cursed shit is like, Oh, let's bring up Furbies. And someone was <laughs> like, Hey, I know here's a fun thing I found on the internet to subject you to because one thing about RP is it's like I've thought up something terrible time to make it everyone else's problem. <laughs> Everybody knows the rule of yes and and that can be abused. It, it's gift economy, but just first. I have no idea what Dream Width is, to be fair. Uh, Dream Width is a blogging, journaling website that um, sort of decided to take the place, uh, fill the niche that uh, Live Journal used to fill before it got taken over by Russia. And I wish I, I was joking. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. So <laughs> you'd be surprised at how little I know. We're always surprised, Chris. I, I I would say like a lot of the brain space was taken up with maths, but that's also true of Ragdoll, and Ragdoll does know a lot, so. <laughs> I can't really use that excuse. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, is my brain is full of maths and uh, Jethro Tull lyrics. There you go. <laughs> that's that's the useless information. <laughs> There's the eyes. So far, <laughs> we just got ourselves a Furby. <laughs> this is a base Furby. <laughs> this is the base Furby. All all your base Furby. I mean, I guess and then, also... and then we mod it and turn it into curses. It has like a little thing, right? I don't know what it looks like. I, I guess it has a crest. <laughs> Is that what you call yeah, it? Yeah, I Ragdolls had it, so I assume it has one. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's a anyway. little. Oh yeah. The 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 faceplate thing usually has it's... that little thing there at the top. Why it's... I. Can't rightly remember. It's built into the face, but I've never noticed that before. <laughs> How strange. You guys seen Hank Sabine Furby, and that's a collection. I've never what each of those words mean <laughs> individually, and yet I've never strung them together. Uh, well, as with, hmm? <laughs> we're on yeah, three, everybody. Eye. We're on three. <laughs> Everybody start counting. <laughs> Three. Ah, ah, ah. I like how the, the the main two, if I can say that, um, because they're pointing forward, you don't get a sense of depth. And that third one is just very clearly, I'm in 3D. <laughs> I'm spherical. <laughs> yep. Deal with it. <laughs> it's a little bit And it's not even like fun. slightly 3D. It's like, Bulging out. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't fitted properly. Speedy, but... it's, that, that eye is trying to escape the body, and it might succeed. 
<laughs> and I understand why. Do I have to Google that? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but Bear is encouraging you to. Well. <laughs> and we all eagerly await your response. And my response was, oh. Uh... Response. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what I really expected. <laughs> I don't know either. I still don't know what they're referring to. Do I love it? Uh, I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he loves it very much. He's at a loss for words. I found a mm -hmm. wiki entry for it. Bean Furby is an associate of Hank Green. Bean Furby, also known as Baked Bean Bee, was bought to life by Sophie G. Stark, and Sol was then sold to Hank Green for three hundred US dollars. Um, I I feel like I should put up a warning before I put it on stream. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, trigger warning. Uh. <laughs> it's art. It's something. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not looking at it because it definitely tr like generally triggers something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 like I say, I wouldn't know exactly what to say about like why. Why is this on? Well, I know it's why it's unsettling. It's a Furby made of beans, but yeah, for me, it, it's like <laughs> slightly triggering my uh, tryptophobia thing. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Like s s not exactly, but like same. Vibes. That's my tryptophobia. See, I'm, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a. It's not a tryptophobia thing, but I'm, I'm sort of getting a like vague sensation of like those aren't beans. They're some sort of creature that's slowly eating this Furby. Oh yeah, yeah, like a parasite. Like a thing. Lice, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like swarmed with bean lice. Anyway, yeah. that's eyes. <laughs> eyes. That's look gross. at the eyes. They're very Rayman eyes. I like them. I am gonna give it like little wings. <laughs> yeah. Feel like it needs it, you know. Uh for crimes. <laughs> yes. All Furbies need some sort of appendage for crimes. Don't listen uh... to the Magnus archives. I people keep saying I should. Well, I mean, at least you won't have to look at the things. It's a, it's sure. a web show. There's an audio show. Yeah, audio show. I, it, it's on the web. There we go. Yeah, it, I, I get like, because people call it podcast, and it's like that's that was already a bit of a strange word to begin with. But usually, when people talk about podcasts, they talk about like you know, quote, factual, unquote, podcasts where people just sit in front of a microphone and talk about stuff. Oh, okay, right, cool. <laughs> More eyes! I should have guessed it was going to be an eye. I, I thought it might be, like, some sort of portal or window or something. No, it's, it's another eye. <laughs> I mean, it could be both. It's a biblically accurate Furby. The eyes could also be portals to another dimension. I'm just waiting for the fire to show up. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> We're all waiting little, for the fire. <laughs> it's got a little fiery sort of crest on the top. That's, surely that's it, right? Uh-huh. We can accurate. say that. 2005, 2009 is Furby. <laughs> we can definitely say that's the fire. Furabim? One of the, one of God's little angels, heaven help us all. Hmm. 
Yeah. The, and, this Furby comes to you and says, fear me not. <laughs> <laughs> Which obviously makes you fear it. Um, In its horrible little demon voice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is, yeah, I could have prepared a weird filter to put on my voice to <laughs> do fun stuff. But uh, I wonder if OBS is less crash happy with filters now. It's been a while since I played with them, but I could basically, theoretically, any of the filters that I can put on stuff for music, I can put on my voice for stream. Um, So like any guitar effect, any reverb echo, distortion, phase, flange, whatever. Nope, <laughs> it's going to be a tiny one. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Too much? Uh, so, th so this is what Jibby's going to do for the next hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope y'all had something prepared, you know, like crossword puzzle or something. <laughs> uh, should I do a Sudoku in the corner? Or... <laughs> Start sketching weird designs. I mean, I probably could. I've got those... I've got these vine things that I sometimes sketch in the sides of just work that I'm doing if I'm bored and need to do something with my fingers. And there's plenty of room for weird vines. Mm -hmm. no, um, they're, they're called TikToks now. The I, mean, I think you get the gist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to expect... Right. Like, if I, if I were like in a position of doing this, I would go, do you know what? Screw it. I'll actually 3D model this. It'll be faster. <laughs> because... Mm -hmm. Copying and pasting eyes over a surface, or not even that, just randomly distributing them with some sort of uh, what's it called? Hair modifier. It's, it's unsettling that it's called a hair modifier, but <laughs> hair eyes. But yeah, I mean, but... there, there's a weird dark reference here about eyes being hair eyes and whatnot, but we won't get there. Is <laughs> it? We're not doing the Magnus archives. There, yeah, oh, there's, fire. there's, there's some fire. <laughs> I need to move it out a little, <laughs> so the fire can fit. Mm -hmm. Uh, you started doing some killer Sudoku lately, which is Sudoku with bonus math because it's broken up into more segments that need to add up to a certain amount, and it's unlocked something in you because you love it. Yeah, you're getting into all of the weird Sudoku. Ah, <laughs> that's where the I'm... fun is. Normal Sudoku's boring. But people can build logic puzzles on top of Sudoku. And it's great. Yeah, the one of the... <laughs> oh, they're just not... No fire, those. just fire. <laughs> okay. They are fire. They are fire. Okay. <laughs> one of the quote-unquote easier uh, Sudoku puzzle variants I sort of like is one where they don't have... It's not boxes mm. anymore. Irregular so regions, yeah. It's still, each number has to appear in each line in each column but now the the other the third type of region is no longer a square yeah they're fun i like doing all the weird bespoke ones what was the last one i did uh oh you had to work out the regions <laughs> and there was like a, some of the squares had a circle in them which meant that Oh yeah, yeah. Which said how many of the other squares in that region in that square could see, if you just looked orthogonally. It's weird logic puzzles. You can have fun with Sudoku. <laughs> yeah, the the interesting thing about Sudoku is 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 it's a logic puzzle with numbers in it, and until you add something like Killer Sudoku or some X sums or thermometers or whatever, the numbers are completely irrelevant. It's not mathematical. It's just well. L logical, but it's not arithmetic. Yes. So it's kind of interesting that people just immediately went, cool, let's do maths. <laughs> Mix of Sudoku and Minesweeper. Kind of. There, uh, there was one that was actually built around Minesweeper as well, <laughs> which was kind of fun. That was ages ago. Um, or I, I did that ages ago. It still exists, I'm sure. But yes, if you want some fun, weird ones, let me know.
I like ones that end up taking me like two hours. <laughs> Oh, good, we got some atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted, right? They are the light in the darkness. Yeah. They They're see here so for you. you. <laughs> they see when you cannot. They're here for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's several ways you could interpret they're here for you. <laughs> they're, they're here for you in the comforting sense, like, of, you know, of friend who's a shoulder to cry on or they're here for you like the Grim Reaper Hey Chris, they're here for you They're here for you, okay <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Why not both? Um, gonna start lurking now while you work on this cover Am I dropping my unhelpful things when the inspiration strikes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Good luck on the cover Anyway the... Oh, hello Hello, Strawberry Leechy. Why, why have you come at Furby times? <laughs> why have you come at Furby? <laughs> it's a good question for anyone here. Anyway, this is... Oh, you love Furby. 2000 oh, okay. Fire, 2000 Eyes. <laughs> yes, this is... We have a random name generator, and this, this one's name was 2000 Fire. That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, 2,000 fire, 2,000 eyes. Um, we the, the stopped short at actually drawing 2,000 eyes. <clears throat> uh, they're implied. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is the 2,000 fire, is that reference to the temperature? Or... Um, it's quite high. <laughs> sure. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the matter is how many things it's burned. But yeah, there, there's more eyes that you cannot see yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, gonna say that's fair. No, that's not not really the right word. Unsettling, <laughs> um, unfortunate. One of the <laughs> yeah. The rest of the eyes are in the back. They got you know the most important fifteen up front. Mm -hmm. The other one thousand nine hundred and eighty-five around the back. Yeah, exactly. And inside. <laughs> and oh yeah, like floating behind it. There's definitely some inside the Furby. It has no inside and outside, it is all. Anyway, this is <laughs> a Furby. <laughs> this is a Furby. This is a Furby, 2005, 2000 eyes. Why not? Why not? What, what did we think was going to happen in this stream? Um, I, I said I was going to make it cursed, and it gave me cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, well, I mean, if uh, anything, Cheeb is only half responsible for this. Yeah. But yes. working within parameters of the name. Yes. And so is uh, whoever... Sh Sh Shard loves potatoes. Is the person who made this generator. Um, I take no responsibility for this, frankly. Right. Even though who's I was the one who's... <laughs> uh, I, I, well, I, I generated, so I guess me. Um, uh, Ragdoll, give me a horrible, horrible name. All right, let's click the button. Sunshine arm loved of immortal. Why do we keep getting angels? <laughs> Furbies are biblical angels, confirmed they're, here they're live just, on stream. <laughs> they're, they're mommy's little angel. <laughs> yep. so, Helping out mommy, in the kitchen. So, mommy's little angel. Sunshine <laughs> arm... <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine arm loved of mortal. There's your arm. They're gonna have arms. That or it is um, armed. <laughs> also possible. So like I might actually have like a scene in mind for this. Well, go for it. We don't have anywhere to be. Yeah, you do your thing as I try and get... Ah, there we go. The bamboo decided to disconnect for a moment. So I had to jiggle some things. But now it should be good. There we go. Power is back. Hey, bad. Why not?
So we have small person. Need context, yeah. you know. Random man for scale. <laughs> Always a good sign if there's a random man for scale. <laughs> How do you draw for that, uh, Beak, eyes, feetsies. And then just sprinkle in a little bit of cosmic horror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just also, like, imagine it speaks in an uru voice. This one speaks in a Cthulhu voice. Cthulhu? You're not! <laughs> <laughs> I bring tidings of great joy. <laughs> Bibwiki Akuwut. <laughs> Akuwut? <laughs> Akuwut. <laughs> Akuwut. <laughs> Biblically accurate. <laughs> um, okay. I am the angel of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and somewhere in the background, Attack on Titan theme is playing. <laughs> Uh, what's going on with this friend? Um... They have a scarf. This is terrifying. <laughs> I want to give him a hand, but it's going to look silly. Um, I don't want this to be silly. <laughs> I don't want this to be silly, he says, having drawn giant cosmic Furby. That's fine. That's right. <laughs> they're, a, they're a small part of the composition. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, Chris. You don't have to paint this. <laughs> well... You don't. <laughs> You know, I, I chose the not... man who makes like seven sketches before he actually. <laughs> Seven's overkill. Come on, maximum six. Mhm. Mm you just made like a meme about that. <laughs> the sketch yeah, on that the was sketch five. On the on so. Mhm. Mm yeah, but I do not believe he would stop at that if you could help. It. <laughs> <laughs> I like if you sketches. had the time. You would absolutely go for seven. The only reason you haven't is because you actually need to get stuff done. <laughs> That's what my belief. Now, what's the best way of doing this? Um, because <laughs> there's a temptation to do this in negative. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> hey, uh, Chris, what? Um, it's going to be a very dramatic Furby. Yeah, uh, well, okay. Um, let's meet myself in the middle. Uh, and don't meet yourself. That's some Furby territory. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the Furby gets you if you meet yourself. <laughs> meeting myself in the same sense of, like, you know, meeting meeting thy maker. Um, well, I mean, this is sunshine arm loved of immortal. So. Yeah. <laughs> You might be. It does have, like, the intonation of, like, a name in the My Immortal fanfic. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Either that or the intonation Sunshine of... Sunshine Arm Loveth of Immortal. <laughs> something written on a shoe somewhere that Tumblr turns into a thing. Um... It has, like, <laughs> the same 
internationals. I cannot remember the full thing. It's like Darkness Ebony Raven Way or something like that. <laughs> you remember a hell of a lot more than me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm named Sunshine Arm, Lovers of Immortal, and I'm named Sunshine because my hair is the sun. <laughs> I, I've never read my Immortal before. <laughs> I, I have had it read to me as a, a streamer I follow had it as a as a channel point redeem of like if if you redeem these channel points we will read a chapter of my immortal wonderful i so sure it... love that it's quite something again i i'm sort of in and around the journal rp scene and you will sometimes get groups where it's like hey we're going to Let's everyone get together in a voice call and we're just going to read through My Immortal and write editorial notes on it and or just stare in abject horror. Mm -hmm. Which is really fun whenever you get someone who's sort of new to the scene and it's like, oh yes, we get to put curses on your brain as well. Um, <clears throat> well, this is what we'd love to do. Fandom is a gift economy. It's just that sometimes the gifts are nightmares. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. But yeah, I, I've never read My Immortal, but I have been in the fandom sphere for long enough that I kn definitely know of it and know more than I should, if considering I've never read it. <laughs> Having listened to it, it's really hard for me to actually properly internalize that it's not meant as parody, because it feels like it is. <laughs> Yes, but the thing you have to remember is with the time frame it came out in, that's just sort of what a lot of fan fiction just read like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Fanfic used to have so many authors notes, wrinkles throughout, and it was like that. I have written like that, I'm pretty sure. Like, my very earliest fanfics were just like that. <laughs> just. The fun thing is, to a certain extent, they still are. It's just that these days, people don't put that sort of stuff in the author's notes. They put them in the AO3 general tags. Yeah. And before that, or tangentially I mean... to that, you also put it in the Tumblr, again, general tags, where it's like, we're going to put all of the weird nonsense in the tags away from the actual work itself. Yeah, but even then, it's less like, uh, it's more just whatever random bullshit comes to mind, unless you yourself as the author are speaking to the characters in the text. <laughs> there is that, <laughs> just, yes. Like, in a random author's note, in like the middle of a sentence. <laughs> that has sort of gone by the wayside. <laughs> yeah. I, I am glad for that, because uh, I'd rather not read that, but because it's really annoying. <laughs> but also, you know, that's how I started out. And I do miss it. <laughs> it was a simpler time, where you were really, really cringe, and you didn't care. <laughs> uh, back before we cared, we were cringe. <laughs> Speaking of weird fandom things, uh, oops, what are you? <laughs> oh, hi, oops. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yes, we're talking about my immortal. Yes. <laughs> how how goes it? I do love how much like an owl this looks. <laughs> yeah, I apparently. Oh, hey, it needs a symbol on its. Um, yeah. Yeah, you thing. forgot the headpiece thing. That might be part of the reason. Yeah. Also, what? it has no ears. Well, they're kind of off frame. Um, what is, what how is... is Sunshine Arm Lover of Immortals supposed to exist without their crest? <laughs> the Ballad of MS Cry video? No. I don't think I have. 
I was recently recommended something with Miscribe? Oh, Miscribe. Sorry. Something to do with fanfiction, I don't know. Hmm. But it was recommended to me on YouTube recently. Yeah. A little infinity symbol in there. You're so no. <laughs> don't say that. I don't like that. What? <laughs> it is. I mean, technically, we all have inner ears. It's just that we also have outer ears. It's a Harry Potter thing from way back when in the early uh, 2000s. Back to me, too. I don't think I've read. I do have seen. I've watched a very lengthy video on. God, uh, it was another Harry Potter thing that was very cursed. It was something like Harry Potter and the School of Miracles and Prayers or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which is a fanfic that exists, but I believe it was determined to be like a parody. No. But it's really weird and religious and gets really, really wild. Okay, so 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 you know that joke with the if I if I had a nickel for every time blank happened, I'd have two nickels, which is weird, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I had a nickel for every time there was a cult involved in Harry Potter fandom, I'd have four <laughs> nickels, and it's weird that it's happened four <laughs> times. <laughs> and every single time this comes up around people that know more other things, it's like, oh, cool, I get to add more nickels. <laughs> And I mean, part—I mean, part of the reason why Harry Potter fandom is so wild is because it was so large. Like the, the yeah, larger true. any fandom gets, the more likely you're going to get a, you're going to get some weirdos in it, um, and the more likely you're going to get loud weirdos in it, and the more likely they're going to clump together and make even more weird, loud noises at each other and everyone else. So, sort of understandable, um, but also since Harry Potter is so large, you've also got sort of the normie fans who just sort of look at this and go, what the heck is this even? Because mm -hmm. they, just, they just read the books and then suddenly everyone's going weird. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oobs, if you want to read, if you want to watch some videos on stuff where you're just kind of like, this is bizarre and I'm not, like, th this feels just so bizarre history thing. Bo both internet history and non-internet history, um, down the rabbit hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good one. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, Frederick uh, Hudson, I think is how you pronounce his name. All sorts of weird stuff. <clears throat> I I love how wild this image is of just. <laughs> It, it has, like, the vibe of, like, the Mufasa scene in The Lion King, where <laughs> Mufasa's, like, the big clouds and, like... <laughs> Remember who you are! Yes, except it's except infinitely it's talking more in cursed. <laughs> I'll be more rapping. <laughs> I have no idea what Furby sounds like. Anyway, there, there we go, there's... What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> we arm, His... sun, arm, infinity, sunshine, <laughs> sunshine arm... arm, loved of immortal. <laughs> sunshine arm, loved of immortal. This is my Furby. It doesn't have ears. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done the clouds. <laughs> it's too late for it is now. <laughs> yeah. 
I love it. Um, <laughs> that well, that's two for two on biblically accurate angels. <laughs> Turns out, randomly generated verbi names are just angel names. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's gone. Yeah. Above this baked verb, yeah, it does look a little baked. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> and since um, there's no obvious years, yes, he does look a little bit more burbish. And and because it's, you know, it doesn't have ears and people said it looks a bit like an owl, you could <laughs> pop up in Duolingo at any moment. Oh, no. So, uh... Just see that image on the Duolingo. <laughs> Watch out. The infinity, <laughs> the infinity is, hey, pay for uh, a Turbo Duolingo or whatever it's called. <laughs> Unlimited lives. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ascend from the Tower of Babel. Um, yes, uh, I guess this is. Chibi has to generate a name for Ragdoll. I guess so. Yep. Has to com is compelled to <laughs> by the previous two verbs. Um. Okay, Ragdoll, your Furby name <laughs> is I. Not a biblically accurate angel, but okay. very weird. <laughs> it's gold websites dot 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 nightcore battery. <laughs> nightcore battery? Gold website nightcore bat <laughs> Is is this like is this like a gold website implies that it's virtual, right? So it's like a kind of Tamagotchi sort of thing. <laughs> Yeah, I like like this is this is this is the Furby in the machine, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's see now. I need to <laughs> He's gonna come and get me if my streak up breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Another ancient Harry Potter fan upside. Hmm. Sounds about right. <laughs> Are all Furbies? Just angels to the Duolingo god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, the Duolingo owl is um is god, and all of the Furbies are their angels. Add that um, one to the quote generation. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm sort of reminded there's there was an episode of Doctor Who, um, which I always liked the premise of, and then it just fell apart at the end, which was just one day. There are just these small black cubes everywhere. And no one knows where they came from. Nobody knows what they do. They're just everywhere. And they're just there for like a year. And people just start collecting them or messing around with them or using them as doorstops or whatever. And people just eventually, eh, whatever. And then stuff happens. Um, Sci-fi shenanigans. Turns out they're actually weird scientific instruments used to study humans, etc. Um, spoilers, I guess. I like the idea that that's what Furbies are. <laughs> that like no one knows where they came from exactly mm. but they were just sort of spread around far and wide and then one day they will activate and start you know spreading the word of duo <laughs> spreading the word of duo oh don't talk about the duo language devil I don't want to think about that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Furbies are already p pretty fucked up, so... Mm -hmm. God, it is so awkward drawing with this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, just as a reminder, Ragdoll is uh, drawing with a bamboo, which they are not used to. They're used to having a screen, which is understandable. Oh, that is... Actually... Not the shape I wanted. I was... Yeah, my, my pen decided that it was just going to be dead today, so... Yeah, when I had my streak on Duolingo, it looked like this. I just remembered that. <laughs> so... Yeah, exactly. I, 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 guess we, I guess we've seen their true form. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> be interesting. Like this as in the thing I'm drawing? Because this looks like just a really uh, no, no, no. that. <laughs> no, no, it's like... As if the Duolingo Owl, it's just a picture as if the Duolingo Owl was a phoenix, I guess, mm -hmm. with sunglasses. The true form has sunglasses, as does everybody's true form. That's just how that works. Uh, 
Except the angels, there's too many eyes to have sunglasses. <clears throat> I mean, they might oh. have sunglasses on one pair of eyes, at least. Uh, maybe. I know there was that thing <laughs> of uh, people pointing out, oh yeah, a lot of animals, they uh, they fake having lots of eyes in order to scare away predators. And people <laughs> look at a bi biblically accurate angel and like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to know what that implies. <laughs> <laughs> Magical girl transformation, but it only adds sunglasses. Could you imagine? There's like a, you and your friends. You have you have this. We get empowered by magical power, and everybody has this long transformation scene with all the sparkles, and then you do it, and at the end, you've just got a pair of sunglasses on. Like, oh, <laughs> does, does that mean that Superman unquiet. does a reverse? <laughs> Does that mean Superman does a reverse magical girl transformation and takes off the sunglasses? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, also, Kira, just while I'm in my list, uh, collection of pictures, uh, my brother was sorting out stuff today uh, and and found things. And it made me think of you. I don't know why I decided to draw this as an old style. Oh, I marker. like it. <laughs> I like the idea of just this being on a very <laughs> old computer. <laughs> and check about that. Yeah. One of my favorite things is Stargate Universe. Okay, I don't think you can read it there. It says the complete first season, and then the next one is Stargate Universe, the complete final season. The joke is it had two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> this honestly feels like one of those like copy pastas <laughs> back in the day of like, oh, if you don't send the, this <laughs> message to 20 people, the evil Furby <laughs> will haunt your computer and glitch it out. <laughs> We're not going to put in all of those <clears throat> keys. The, the evil gold, gold website Nightcore Battery. Nightcore is a, a genre of music, right? I yes. found this Furby and now it's on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Does it like constantly blast Nightcore music through your speakers? Yes. That, that's the battery part. <laughs> like, like assault. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. just... Just the worst music. Mm -hmm. Come on. Make a circle. circle. There we go. The bane of the artist. I'm doing a drawing project at the moment, and for some reason I decided circles would be a good idea as a theme. Mm -hmm. Very good theme. <laughs> hate that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've decided that you can change it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you keep for, doing this to yourself. No, for reasons that will become apparent, I'm in too deep now. <laughs> okay, sure. If this is another book situation, I'm gonna... Book? Oh no, it's worse than that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Just gonna write this down on my little list of reasons to kick Chris in the shins if we ever meet again. <laughs> Hey, look! Last time, last time, last time we met. Say that as if it's happened all the time. Yeah, um, last time we met. You know that last, one time. That one time we met. The last time we met, and also the first time we met. I had to prompt you to kick me in the shins. Yeah, <laughs> because I was awkward. <laughs> yeah, we all were. It's fine. <laughs> but next time, next I time, I don't have such reservations. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we meet on Dutch soil, so you have jurisdiction. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I I made the mistake of telling my parents that you're teaching yourself Dutch, because now they're constantly asking, when is he coming to the Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> to be like... fair, I, I like the idea. I like the idea of going. Why not? Seems like mm -hmm. a nice enough place. I mean, Flat. you can come, it's just like, I don't think anytime soon, but... 
Yeah, I, I mean, maybe soon, but I won't be able. That, that it won't be as a consequence of the language. <laughs> like, yeah. I will not be useful. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, completely okay. silent the entire trip, and then we're just sort of going along a road and go. Ah, the, the, that that is in cool. <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing I say for the entire trip. Um, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Imagine that the screen is just covered in just nonsense letters. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Sorry, for some reason I imagined, like... Oh, I do, I do not have the words to explain what is in my head, but early internet, like, stamps that you would find at the bottom of websites. <laughs> and and so, um, some of them were just, like, all pink and sparkly. Um, I just oh, imagine that, that being in the background. <laughs> Yeah, really sparkly nonsense going on as it's blasting Nightcore at you. And blinding you because yeah. you're, you are you found this at 2 a.m. <laughs> alas, if only I could go to the Netherlands. Alas, I do not know Dutch. It's the only thing stopping me. That is uh -huh. my, morbi my morbid fear of windmills. <laughs> that might actually be a bigger <laughs> problem than you not knowing Dutch. Uh, oh, they haven't taught me how to say how I if I hate something. <laughs> I say I hate windmills, but eh. well, if you don't like windmills, you're not coming here either. We've got a lot of wind farms where I live. Oh yeah, will the cursor be a weird animated thing? Yeah, that's a good point. Custom cursor. Mm -hmm. I think this is just somebody's like website that just automatically plays this this isn't a virus <laughs> yes. at all it's just <laughs> early it, website it's like the neon cat except it's the nightcore battery Kirby. strange trail yeah i used to do that all the time i used to make sure that my cursor left a trail of small of more transparent cursors behind it can you still do that i, I doubt it <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if you could, but it also wouldn't surprise me if you had to dig through, like, five different menus to find a legacy menu that allowed you to actually do that. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of the, like, old Windows XP menus that still exist, but oh. you have to, like, dig through the newer ones in order to find them. How to do it. Open the registry editor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that on stream. <laughs> Nostalgic for animated cursors. Yeah. Uh, you have been diaper angst for Vin Wallens? <laughs> angst? What's, what's, uh, well, we have the word angst, but... <laughs> probably You're very like afraid of windmills. <laughs> ah, okay, that's fair. Or more literally, you have a deep fear of windmills. Oh, deep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Nice. Mind show the desk. It's a very big desk. Put it in another very speaker here desk. to. <laughs> more speakers for more Nightcore. Or a blob cursor, yeah. Just have a Flynn as my cursor now. <laughs> okay, important question. Is it dancing the entire time yes. you move it? Of course. You have no idea where the actual hotspot is to click. <laughs> <laughs> no. God, <laughs> uh, that would be funny, but also very annoying. <laughs> Just, just put that on your official business website and then see how many people <laughs> like do do this like lovely sleek like modern web design you know that thing where you if you scroll a picture in the background scrolls at a different rate and you have all these overlapping things and so on and so forth and then you click contact info and you get to a page and it's just horrific 90s website design with a blob cursor and two bit uh, Lincoln Park playing in the background. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, <laughs> well, here, here's our horrendous, our just 
gold wax eyes nice for a bad <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like how we've all done scenes. Yeah. That's quite nice. <laughs> we all had, I, I mean, granted, Jib's scene was fire and darkness, but it works. <laughs> They're here for you. <laughs> <laughs> They're here for you. <laughs> They're here for you. Oh, God. <laughs> the one screensaver with the tubes. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> White text on a dark purple background. Also, the hit counter at the bottom. Whatever hit counter. All right, Chris. Oh, give me more. You, I, you, okay. You want more? Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. do you, okay. Do you want one that could be cursed, or do you want the one I just got? <laughs> I mean, I'm one. Whatever you got. Uh, I will copy this for safekeeping. If I've come up with a better one, I will. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, this one starts with demonic. <laughs> Always a good sign. Okay, do do you want demon or sparkles? <laughs> you have a choice. I, mean, I don't really care. I'm go I'm planning on making it cursed either way, but you know, uh, give me sparkles. I know. Okay, okay. Can you can you draw for me the well known? Uh, Internationally beloved Furby, fantasy sparkling and boy. Fantasy sparkling and boy. Fantasy spark is fantasy sparkling and boy. <laughs> fantasy sparkling and boy. <laughs> Which now that I now that I'd say it does sound like a crime fighting duo. Or yeah, <laughs> or a K. I assume the N stands for ants. So yeah. yeah. Is it apostrophe okay. N? Well, it's apostrophe N. So, mm -hmm. is is that is that how you abbreviate and? Shouldn't there be an I... apostrophe either side? <laughs> yeah, yeah was... probably, but... <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Boy. Boy. This is the true peace that all the great heroes strive for. Okay, let's start with a Furby again. <laughs> oh, I just got better actually. <laughs> Hold on. I need to change change my Furby base. Might start with M boy. <laughs> start with M boy. <laughs> Drop boy first and then put in the Furby. M boy, the the famous catchphrase from God and War. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm a god. crack draw Atreus. <laughs> Atreus as a Furby. We just draw Atreus Kratos. from memory. Kratos as a Furby. <laughs> but also fantasy sparkling. I mean, I can make it work. Mm -hmm. There's I'm mods ready. out there. Well, Spark, are we going back to the sort of magical girl transformation? Is this Kratos' magical girl transformation? <laughs> sure. Into a we'll Furby. go with that. Yeah, what you know, is with the most, S? Most, <laughs> most gods that turn into creatures turn into something, you know, big and magnificent. Though I guess he is the son of a god who can turn into a goose. So, you know. Mm -hmm. So Okay, yeah. The Oops has brought up a brilliant point. What's with the S when you're talking about time? <laughs> Apostrophe S. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, I know that. Um, it's it's an Swan, old sensible. thing uh, that uh, <laughs> comes from uh, uh, D E S Des. Uh, so Des albums, yeah. uh, which means in the evening, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And then it got shortened, so that's why the apostrophe is there. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I kept seeing it, and I'm like, what is this short for? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> and, maybe? Instead of and? Well, it's sort of in, isn't it? <laughs> Like in the afternoon or in the morning or 
during something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying as if I... What's going on here? <laughs> I mean, the actual answer is enough people did it that it just became correct grammar, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, now, now we have a boy with huge anime eyes going on here. And tiny nose, and they look very happy. <laughs> I mean, I was, uh, there is this artist on Tumblr who keeps drawing Atreus from God of War, which is the biggest, like, tearful eyes. <laughs> I love it so much. It's I've... so funny. <laughs> Given how many times Tumblr keeps recommending me things that my friends enjoy, um, which reminds me, I saw another, uh, Heimdall, topless Heimdall picture the other day. It's like, <laughs> Ghibli, you are influencing my Tumblr. <laughs> Too much. I did uh, not see enough <laughs> topless Heimdall. I don't know why you get them. I'll find them for you then. <laughs> it's, it's Tumblr's just trying to get Chris to gift them to you. I guess so. Like To be fair, a lot of what I use Tumblr for is finding cute things to send miss. Um, show me the Heimdall. Uh, oh, there's Kratos at the beach. Um, <laughs> it is interesting just to see, like, I wonder why they've recommended that to me. Which of my friends was that <laughs> aimed at, actually? <laughs> well, reblog it and see. Uh, always a tutorial on how to color in latex. Who's that for? <laughs> I've seen that one around as well. I haven't like gotten it specifically, but I have seen it around. Uh, you choose funny things for you to give to Jibby too. You got another Tales from the Borderlands animatic. <laughs> nice. See, I just turn off all of the recommended stuff because it annoys me. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, I we've gone for big. Oh, oh. we have gone for big. <laughs> And then we cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's how we go. Big feetsies. Also getting a lot of Spanish posts about football. Yeah, and we've determined that that's Kiro and not that's me. That's Kiro, yeah. <laughs> Even though you're the one learning Spanish. <laughs> mm-hmm. Football fan. I don't. I don't read Spanish. Well, it's a lot of really cool Puss in Boots art. I mean, I yeah. think that there's a new film, right? Yeah, there's a new film. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm just like so separated from the sort of popular channels of of most media that I learn that things exist through really cool looking fan art. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel that. <laughs> Yeah, that happens. A lot of people I follow have also been going on on Pussy Boots, which might be why it's showing up on yours. The rest of the thing called <laughs> Fantasy <laughs> Sparkling, right? <laughs> Fantasy Sparkling, mm boy. <laughs> well, we got the mm boy. We got the mm boy. We definitely have mm boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have mm boy. Who is very cute. Mm hmm. This is and trying very hard to lick this. This is actually terrifying. It's the hit song from the Hanson Brothers. Mm boy, do ba do boy. Do a do boy. I I like how Atreus looks mildly concerned and the Furby just looks like it's screaming, which is probably <laughs> why Atreus is mildly concerned. It is screaming, yes. I do imagine it's just High pitched screaming noise. 
It's like, um... I was about to say it's like a cat alarm. But... I don't think everyone's supposed to be able to hear those. I can hear them. They're annoying. <laughs> but yeah, it's like that, but within normal human hearing range. Just very high-pitched. <laughs> What am I doing? It won't be within your it won't You're be doing... within your human hearing range for long. Your ears are gonna get True. broken from that one. True, yes. Um you're drawing fantasy sparkling and boy. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this fantasy sparkling. With I got in boy pretty quickly, but I mean you could always like move your cursor over to the pink and like Yeah. You know what a yeah, dying Furby sounds so much glitter. like? Kira, have you killed a Furby? <laughs> <laughs> Kira, the only know known person. Can... Kira knows I, I something I don't know no if you else. can actually kill a Furby in any way that matters. <laughs> Kira can. <laughs> only Kira. <laughs> I'm imagining, like, have you ever, heard a, have you ever heard a dying rabbit? Like a rabbit that's been oh. caught by a fox. Because that's a sound. <laughs> yep. Uh, one time you saw a Furby in person, it was one day in high school, and one kid threw it at another, and then it, there was a fumble, and it was a horrible dying whine, and it never moved or spoke again. And that's when you learned about death. <laughs> Through Furbies. <laughs> But the sad thing, I've just looked up for the sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> sparkles! Um, sorry, I was just going to point out that I have not yet found the topless Heimdall picture, but I have found at least three other saucy God of War things. Why do you get them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've been going, I've even gone to like moving through my For You page, and I do get God of War stuff, but none of it is saucy. <laughs> It's all very cute and sweet and or angsty, but you know. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of silly stuff. Where is my shirtless Heimdall picture? I mean, maybe it's one of those things where it's like whatever algorithm. I mean, computers are stupid, so it took whatever. I was like, oh, you follow someone who does God of War stuff. Oh, you follow someone who does saucy stuff. We'll mix them together. No, I don't follow anyone who I don't follow anyone who does saucy stuff. You follow me, I guess. <laughs> true, true, yeah. <laughs> that is a point. But then I would get them. If you got them from me, then I would get them. Well, that assumes you're following yourself. It probably only looks at who you're following, right? <laughs> Yeah, probably. Like, actually doing the act is not enough. You have to be following somebody. <laughs> I mean, that's stupid, but also it wouldn't surprise me if that was the case, because algorithms yeah. are stupid. Well, uh, to be fair, quite a lot of people don't like what they do, and they like other things. I like a lot of weird and dark, strange stuff, and everything I make is the stupidest thing you've ever seen so <laughs> yeah well, to be but fair, I also like if that. you're if you are going out of your way to interact with something I don't know I <laughs> this is oh and now we've got puffy ears <laughs> this, this feels like on one of the many adventures through the worlds, it's like we, we have found a strange magical being, and for some reason Atreus is like, I want to take it home, and the being is like <laughs> taking great offense to this. Have you got rest? Oops. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Father, oh, can I keep it? <laughs> This isn't what Not I was looking for. Not featured here, Kratos saying no. <laughs> no. I just shared something which I feel is relevant. Um, you know, a lot of really cool art, and none of it's the thing I'm looking for. <laughs> Tumblr, everybody. <laughs> I mean, Atreus gets to keep a whole bunch of doggies. Why not a very 
large sparkly bird. I found a thing about the dogs recently. Is that is that canon? <laughs> There's a lot of dogs. <laughs> there is a lot of uh, wolves in the game. And Kratos has officially adopted two, maybe three. <laughs> Because of Atreus. <laughs> Doesn't Atreus also stick like a soul inside of a really big dog at some point? Yeah, the soul of his dog, his wolf, Fenrir, gets put into the body of Big Wolf, and now Fenrir is Big Wolf. Ooh. Um, but still really cute. <laughs> Isn't Fenrir something to do with the end of the world? Yes. Yes. That's yeah. why I think God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> that that good point. Very good point. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, uh, this okay, is so this you... is another lenter situation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. so, so so you know those things where it's like dogs that grow up to be very large dog breeds just seem to remember when they were puppies and small and could pick you up and don't realize that they're really really big now. Yep. That's funnier but worse. Mom. It's like, oh, I used to be small pup that you can carry, and now I'm the size of three houses. Yep. <laughs> I do not have any qualms believing that exists. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> still haven't found the thing, but uh, this is great. Fantasy sparkling and boy. Fantasy sparkling and boy, I love. Uh, this is going to be a really strange thing to say. I love the choice of colours. <laughs> <laughs> and sparkling colours. <laughs> sparkling and boy. Well done. You did this. <laughs> you did. This. <laughs> you did this. I did this. So we, we were having a conversation. Was this on stream or before the stream about the art in uh, Age of Mythology? Mm-hmm. And how, you know, you look at the art and you're like, I like my own art better. Yeah. Which is an impressive thing to think about your own art when compared to an actual professional product. Yeah. Um, I'd invite you now to imagine that this was in Age of Mythology. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There's the Ferb Pantheon. <laughs> I mean, the I major know The major goddess of Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> I know enough about Norse mythology to know that Loki adopting a very strange, loud, and terrifying bird creature is. I mean, does not contradict anything else that that guy has done. Oh no! <laughs> if this was like actual Norse mythology, then that would be his child somehow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he turned himself into a Furby. Yeah, he birthed this. Got got. <laughs> F for pregnant. <laughs> for pregnant. <laughs> I mean, he didn't give birth to all of his kids. The giant <laughs> snake was birthed by his giant wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also... <laughs> <laughs> that sentence. <laughs> Look, it's Norse mythology. It's Loki. Mm -hmm. Let's just leave it at it's Loki. <laughs> it's Loki, yeah. Which is why it's pretty impressive how they did it in Ragnarok. Or the impressive, not the right one. They did some fun interpretations of stuff. Yeah, I know nothing about Loki in Ragnarok, so... Yeah, you do. It's all shirtless Heimdall. <laughs> <laughs> no. This no, is going to be another but... Good Omen situation, where in uh, my head, <laughs> the game is no. all... <laughs> Heimdall's not yep. Loki. Heimdall it hates Loki. <laughs> but, don't spoilers... Need... For God of War, first one, and also God of War Ragnarok, Atreus is Loki. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, that's literally the name his mother wanted to give him. And and then Kratos was just kind of like, how about we name him after one of my dead soldier mates instead? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, you do know Loki. <laughs> wow, they've it's got train. some stuff. <laughs> they've got some stuff ahead of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is, uh, this is just a good picture. <laughs> no, like I, just, I don't want to draw us now. Leave that there. We'll, that, we'll just talk over this for the next forty minutes. <laughs> sure, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, will we, though? 
Will we just no. sit here in silence and stare? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Have you found shirtless Heimdall yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. So this is Tumblr knows. So Tumblr is a cat. <laughs> when you when you want something from it, it'll do everything except that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, just the phrase "Tumblr is a cat" probably gets gets yeah. the idea across. I mean, you can like post that to Tumblr, and everyone will reblog it and agree. <laughs> Just Tumblr is a cat. I mean, these days, you could also potentially put it into a poll. Yeah. Is Tumblr a cat? Yes or yes? <laughs> uh, uh, am I going to get sidetracked yes, by this Yes, definitely, I well? rigged the poll. <laughs> Sorry, now I've gotten distracted by somebody whose avatar is Drix. Does anybody remember Drix? Drix? From the hit film uh, I can't even remember what the film's called, but it had a spin-off TV show called Ozzy and Drix. Oz, 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 I, I, I think the movie was just called Osmosis Jones. That's the one. Drix is a pill. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's set inside the human body and there's like the main character's a white blood cell who's like a detective fighting virus criminals. It's a weird premise. Um, but yeah, sorry, it's just somebody has the avatar of, like, Drix pulling a sexy face, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Tumblr? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, if you search for shirtless Heimdall, of course you're going to get results for shirtless Heimdall. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the point. <laughs> but that is very good art, thank you, Kirk. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Uh, that was not the one I'm talking about. Because <laughs> of course it isn't. Tumblr. I do so what you're really saying like... is there are even more pictures of shirtless Heimdall. <laughs> Good. That's what I want. <laughs> it's what I personally deserve. <laughs> anyway, should we have? Anyway, yeah, yeah. Let's draw. Let's draw. I'll draw a thing. Can't keep scrolling for shirtless pictures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is like a first tumbler I'll draw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not an activity I'm used to. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, the ragdoll, I believe. Give me name. Okay. Do 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 you want a Ooh. sparkle thing, or do you want me to generate something <laughs> more first? Let's, let's go with the theme with the sparkle times okay. today. Penguin pink peel fairy space. Yep. <laughs> That sure is a sentence. Okay. So we've got either a space for fairies or a fairy in space, but it's definitely pink, and I guess there's penguins involved somehow. Um. <laughs> Negative space! Um. Negative space. Bear, no. But I, I was considering having it like, like as though it were cocooned in a banana skin or something like that. Um, which I might still do. Uh, <laughs> Come on, menus, right? There we go. So. So. Oh. So. Oh, the thing! Oh, now I keep breaking everything. <laughs> Stop it! Go away, chat. Leave. Not chat, chat. Aggie chat. Uh, now I'm drawing on a hidden layer. What? And now we watch the sketch appear. Mm-hmm. Need to look up Slowly other references. Slowly void of space. Naturally, where else? <laughs> uh. 
uh, yeah, to get back to the point, yeah, it's. I talked about it with Chris before the stream started, so. Uh, but I'm drawing uh, Atlas in Age of Mythology. Uh, not style, because. Yeah. <laughs> but like, poses and like as things and for fun, um, because. And it was fun for me because I looked at the art that I'm like heavily referencing for pose and such, and it's just like, wow, this is like official art in like a very successful video game, and it's awful. <laughs> it's pretty rough. <laughs> it's like I don't gen generally I don't be down an artist. Because, you know, art is hard, and, you know, if you, your art is in a video game, that's cool, and sometimes it's style and such, but, like, it's so bad. <laughs> like, the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, this is art for a professional video game. <laughs> to be fair, like, it, it's varied, right? It, it, Some of it... it does vary. Some of them are very well, but I am looking at, like, Hermes uh, that I'm doing right now that I'm referencing and that one's rough <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's mostly because it's like one of the earlier ones so because uh, Age of Mythology had two expansion packs so uh, but Hermes is like base game essentially <laughs> Yeah, that happens sometimes. My dad's been playing um, the Civilization games for a very long time, and looking at some of the art from the early games is uh, oof. rough. Yeah, it, it's like... Because it looks good at a glance, and I've never really noticed it before, but then, like, I believe Chris pointed it out when I was like looking at it and ever since then I'm just like wow it it is like very not great <laughs> cuz I I also was like oh I'm referencing the post so I can like you know do like red uh, like, sketchy lines over the art for, you know, proportions and, uh, you know, general posing and stuff. You know, just red line it. And I did that. And then I was like, this? No. <laughs> I'm gonna sketch it out myself, thank you. <laughs> this looks bad. If I follow these proportions, it will be wonky. <laughs> But yeah, I I guess the Hermes one is just like one glaring example because most of them look fine at least. Yeah. It's just there's just something wrong with Hermes, especially the body, because it looks like he has too many abs. <laughs> the abs are too high up. Something is wrong with that torso. It's like the the abs turn into ribs. It's a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, or maybe the other way around, the ribs turn into abs. Something yeah. like that. Either way, it's pretty unsettling. Yeah, that's not really how abs or ribs work. Probably not. Uh, I'd be a bit scared if that's how abs and ribs worked. I, I don't even know how much, because I know you have muscle over your ribs, mm -hmm. but because you've got like the pecs and whatnot on top of that, but the pecs are usually up by the arms and then you've got the abs in the abdominal area, but like that middle portion is usually a little, there's not much going on there. Yeah. 
it, it's like there was like very something like there was a lot wrong with it when I was like outlining it. Like the neck is like very long if you actually like outline it. And I say that as someone who always draws my necks too long. <laughs> like everything, it's has it just been slightly stretched and too, too so, many so ab rips saying... going on. And <laughs> so what you're saying is, is he has shoujo proportions. Uh, Everything's just a little too long. I mean, yeah, but for JoJo, it at least like looks. No, not 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 JoJo. JoJo is everything is too muscular. Shoujo. Yeah, <laughs> JoJo, right? The, yeah, the thing. <clears throat> JoJo is the 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 hands, right? <laughs> JoJo <laughs> the hands. Yes. I've seen hands in JoJo. I mean, I've had to draw. A draw. Point, I think. I, I think just everything in JoJo is just a thing, but it it's sort of funny because uh, you look at his art and it's like, okay, if we remove a couple of these lines, you've got the same body proportions for this supposedly 16-year-old kid and this supposedly 60-year-old man. That's a very funny comment there. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> his nipple is also making a break to a height under his armpit <laughs> I mean now that you mention it yes I'm, okay, it you're talking about, okay right sorry you're talking about Hermes I was like I didn't draw a nipple what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a lot I mean I think honestly like looking at the first it might just be Hermes most of them kind of look fine I don't know what's wrong with Hermes was he like the first one they did or something or, or the last one like deadlines Yeah, <laughs> they completely overestimated how much time they were going to have he, he ran so fast his nipple got left behind is it this like Athena is also from the base game, and like, yeah, there's a little bit of funky stuff going on with it with her, but like, it's fine. It's, you know, the most egregious thing about Athena's picture is the fact that she has boob armor, but that's not a, <laughs> that's not an art issue. That's more a design issue. <laughs> She's got quite a long nose that doesn't actually like end in a nose; it just sort of stops. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's less bad than Hermes for sure. It it, it looks like more consistent with like the rest of the art style as well. I don't know. There's just something really weird about the art for Age of Mythology. I'm sure I'm gonna find more things that are wrong. <laughs> Probably. But that's half the fun. Yeah, that's Question. half the fun. I I do now that I've talked about it with Chris, I cannot take Horace's face seriously anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, oh different one, sorry. Uh, Lawrence is the very sad one. Oh yeah. yeah. What? What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> he's so sad. <laughs> like confused and sad and like you just woke up from a from a five hour nap. <laughs> Where am I? Where did everyone go? And he definitely did not need to be sleeping for that long. No, absolutely not. Wings on the helmet also have big, you've seen a wing before, yeah? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's generally what those look like in ancient art, so I can forgive that. They looked wonky. <laughs> they also put wings on a lot of things. Like, mm -hmm. there's a... um. That was definitely slammed in the card. Yeah, it's. I mean, for the hand, to me, it looks like it has like one like joints missing. <laughs> I 
which is a really weird thing. <laughs> like, for every finger, there's a joint missing <laughs> in the finger bone. That's... Impressive? <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> it, it at least looks that way to me. So. Each finger was taken from a different person. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, don't tell me it was made using a, some sort of AI software to try and put it together. Yeah, I was thinking that, but there are the right number of them, so... We're probably all right. <laughs> probably. Only probably. Is anyone going to stop me drawing this? <laughs> no. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> this your... is what you've chosen to do. You've made a cosmic Furby in mm -hmm. a banana. I, I mean, if there's one thing I'm taking away from this, it's the idea of banana peel fairy. It's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> So, a, so a fairy, a a fairy whose plum. wings... It's sugar plum? Yeah, instead of sugar plum fairy, we've got a banana peel fairy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the fairy of um, slapstick. <laughs> They're just going to take a nap somewhere and someone will trip on them. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Okay. This was, what was this? Space banana? <laughs> space banana. Penguin space. pink peel fairy space. Mm -hmm. You can imply the pink, I feel. <laughs> I mean, the pink is implied considering your color. More than implied considering your color. I think I can go. Uh... I mean, I guess I. You could put in some color with it, but the color you use for drawing is... Oh, well, okay, we've got that now. Sure. Yeah, I guess that shows up. And here I was about to say that pink probably doesn't show up so well, seeing as the color you, cho you choose to draw with, but that actually does show up in sort of the highlighty bits. Yeah, got to be a bit more <laughs> a bit conservative in how yeah. that works. Uh, if I set it to that... No, that doesn't work at all. Um... Ah, it's fine. Fine. It's good, it's fine, you have done it. The simpler thing would have been to make space not pink, but <laughs> sure. Whatever, there we are. They That's done. make space pink. <laughs> Their existence. Oh ah, god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Content warning Why white. I? Um <laughs> now we're all blinded. <laughs> Who'd have thought it was that one that would blind us? <laughs> of all of the fair bees we've had so far. <laughs> I, I from... find this very funny, seeing as the first one I drew we had the thing of like, yeah, well, this is what happens when you're on sketchy websites at 2 a.m. You just suddenly get blinded by a sparkle. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> you got that. You've got 2000 Fire, the cheapest first one. You got mine, which has a sun in its armpit. Like, why was that the one that blinded us? <laughs> yeah, it's like Discord light mode, yeah. <laughs> Don't turn on light mode. Um, why did that not pop up? That's been. All right. Three A's. Oh, that's three A's. Okay. See. Yes. My turn. Um, it. Uh, I've generated yeah. one, and there's so much going on. <laughs> oh, fun. There's so much going on, so I don't know if whether to give you this, but you know, I'll give it, and you can decide whether you want me to generate a new one because it's a loss. <laughs> yes, Kiro, that's the one. Sorry, um, I, I just saw the. Heimdall. It's Silver 2000 Gnome <laughs> the Dracula Teeth. <laughs> we got 2000 again. <laughs> Silver 2000 Silver Gnome 2000 the Dracula gnome. Teeth. <laughs> no, not Teeth. T. Oh, T. Dracula Teeth made too much sense. Um... <laughs> yes, obvious. So, yeah, you can go with that or you can say no. 
that's too much. Give me something else. You can only say no if it has a silent G at the beginning. <laughs> so if I pronounce the G, then actually I have to do it then. <laughs> yes. Yes also has a silent G, but it's not at the beginning. This gnome the Dracula T. This <laughs> for some reason when you said this, I just had this image flash in my mind of like, oh god, I feel like I'm at a con in the early 2000s and someone's just wearing <laughs> all of the just, just all of the anime <laughs> memorabilia stuff from so many different conflicting shows. Like, they're not cosplaying. This is obviously not them cosplaying. They're just wearing so <laughs> much weird stuff. They're just very enthusiastic about a lot of things. Yes. I Which, good good just... for them. <laughs> Generated an order for shits and giggles if you decide to like not do it, and it's really funny and very simple. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess rate it off anyway, and we'll see which one. It's three thousand comma, <laughs> <laughs> and that's nice. It. That's it. It's three thousand comma. The comma is very important. Yes. It's part of the name. <laughs> yeah, the whole stream's just been <laughs> trips back to the early 2000s, yeah. <laughs> okay. We need to do more early 2000s streams. <laughs> well, I'm I'm going to draw I'm going to draw a Furby attending their first convention. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have fair. to put that in the Discord? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> 3000 comma. Sorry, 3000 space comma. <laughs> Oh, and there's a space there. There's yeah. a space, That's... yeah. See, this is how you know that this is just a random number generator and not something that's, like, actually <laughs> trying to figure things out, because it's just kind of like, right, let's just, here's some elements, shove it together. See, <laughs> see whenever I do, like, random generator, I'm trying to work on a random generator for a video. Um, and whenever I'm like, oh, this doesn't quite work because it's, it's it's coming up with things that don't feel right, I then remember that this sort of generator exists. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm doing all right. Actually, this is a reasonable thing. You know, you can you can pronounce this without stumbling over yourself. Yeah, it doesn't just generate three thousand comma. <laughs> You're Some doing would consider fun. a flaw. I did have the the uh, bloody ages ago. I made a random Dark Souls boss name generator, and that didn't work very well at all. What was that? <laughs> we should do a stream on that. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. I just found out if I click the button on the pen for the bamboo, it gets the eyedropper tool. Oh, nice. Mm. Convenient. Or inconvenient, depending on whether you want it or not, and you accidentally press it. Uh... Well, inconvenient, seeing as it picked up the color white. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Souls born so I have to go back generator. to my color. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's, there's some fun things in this Souls Born boss generator name thing. I, I got Wasp the Rat Romancer. <laughs> I have questions that I do not want answered. <laughs> <laughs> miniature eyes. How about that? <laughs> Speaking of miniature eyes, um, which is a weird way to start a sentence. Yeah, uh, why? What? Where are you going with this exactly? I was reminded of the existence of an animator who I'd forgotten about, um, called Felix something Colgrave. Felix Colgrave. If you haven't looked their stuff up, it's very imaginative. Mm -hmm. And they recently released a video called Donks. Donks. Um, Donks, which is... Basically, they, they just wanted to make a bunch of little things, little objects, like little 3D. It sort of reminds me, in, in a sense, of like those old sort of Nintendo 64 games, I submit, like Super Mario RPG. Um, and basically, they just wanted to get some of those and prat around with them, and they sort of made this weird world where shadow creatures inhabit these objects and assemble themselves. It's really weird, but also really neat. 
and I kind of want to share it, but I also want to share it with the disclaimer of like, this is quite unnerving <laughs> in a weird way. It's really cool, but it's, it's weird. It's not like Syriac weird, but it's weird. Mm-hmm. Hang on, I'll put it in thing anyway. Oh god, it's gonna start playing. Shush, quiet, shush. Sudden noises. That's for later. But yeah, you look up Felix Colgrave's stuff. It's all <laughs> good and weird and just some of the most imaginative animation you'll ever see. Okay. I need to figure out how to put a Furby in a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> you, you would need that consent. Against our um, will. <laughs> okay, we went very different ways. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm figuring this Furby put it on on purpose. Because, like I said, this is on because I'm like, for some reason, I'm figuring vampire tea. They're wearing like, there were a lot of anime with vampires in them out in the like early mid 2000s. Oh yeah. So. I figure they've got some, like, vampire anime t-shirt that they're wearing, but also Furbies don't generally have arms, so the sleeves are just sort of useless nubs. <laughs> the little, little wings. Let's see, that's not quite right. That's going too far out. <laughs> that makes it look like there might actually be something in there. Let's oh, that's see. the name of the... Sorry. I just, I just looked at the picture of Heimdall, which was the one I was looking for. Thank you, Kira. Um, it just has the words boneless avocados above his shoulder in the picture. And I'm like, why are the words boneless avocados? There? <laughs> that's, that's the name of the person who did it. <laughs> I should have guessed that. It took me too long <laughs> of just staring. Why? What? It's, it's important. <laughs> it's important to put your signature on your work, which is why I never do it. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> Same. <laughs> the thing is, like, it, it's really important to do it on fan art, because that's yeah. the stuff people are likely to steal. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done fan art for years. I have done fan art, but... Uh, uh. I mean, well, to, to be fair, I have done fan art. I did an entire month of fan art last October. Yeah. Yeah, fan art of other people's OCs. Yeah, fan art of my friend's characters, who I like. I mean, do you like our characters, or do you like us? <laughs> uh, or, in, in mathematics, or is inclusive. Mm-hmm. So both. Right. Good save. Right, don't look me right. up. <laughs> there, we, we specifically have or, and then we explicitly have exclusive or for when or we so. don't need, want things to be inclusive. But if it's just or, then the assumption is that it's inclusive. You have to specify that it's exclusive. I, I'm oh, still annoyed. <laughs> Every, <laughs> I saved it with logic. Um, literally <laughs> yeah uh, yeah I'm still I always used to read uh, exclusive or which is usually written XOR um, I always used to read that as ZOR because why wouldn't you and then Zor. people people apparently could just call it XOR I'm like no ZOR ZOR <laughs> ZOR <laughs> put that on list of maths words to prompt people to draw creatures <laughs> Or... Yeah. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna do the sh eye shine thing, but also I don't want to spend time filling this in with my pencil. So I'm gonna... Phil Bucket's okay. good. Phil Bucket's your friend. 
Mm-hmm. It has limited capability in Aggie. Well, no, it's got, it's got decent stuff. Anti-alias. Tolerance. Uh, it doesn't have an expand, which is the thing I would like to use most. I'm trying to make him look, like, really excited about something that he's seeing at this anime convention oh, he's going yeah, yeah. to. You, you could uh, put, like, eyelids underneath, like the bottom eyelids. Oh, now they look terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that worked, Chris. <laughs> look, it was worth a try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now I need to figure out what sort of vampire anime this is. Oh, uh, let's see. Vampire Hunter D. Is that that is one of them, yes. Yay, I also... know the thing. I don't know what it is, but I know the thing. There there's also Helsing. Uh there was Blood Brothers. There, God, what else was Blood there? Brothers. That was a musical. Uh, it was also an anime. Um, oh, okay. About vampires. Uh, sorry, Black Blood Brothers is what it was called. Uh, mm-hmm. So, with, and the, with the name coming from in uh, that particular universe, humans are red blood and vampires are black blood. And two of the main characters are vampires who are brothers. Or, well, sort of brothers. It's complicated. Don't worry about it. There's this weird reincarnation thing going on. Because, <laughs> of course. Right, of course. It cannot just be simple. No. Simple is the enemy of good writing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Hi, Kiro! Hi, Kiro! I've been talking about vampire animes, seeing as it feels like there was quite a few of them out during the, like, early 2000s up into the 2010s. But the only ones whose names that are I know off the top of my head that are coming to mind are Vampire Hunter D, Helsing, and Black Blood Brothers. Yeah, so they need but, your help. <laughs> but strangely enough, I think all three of them include a vampire that wears a long red cape with a hat. I mean, that's... If you're a vampire and you don't do that, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Insert picture of Matt Berry from We Live in the Shadows or whatever it's called. What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> Another show I have not seen, but I have definitely seen clips of Matt Berry. <laughs> eh, you know what, we'll do this as a vampire hunter. And his continuing uh, exploration of the concept of English language and how to pronounce words. Listen, you don't need to know English. <laughs> it's just like every role he's in, he's like, how can I pronounce words more? Just more. <laughs> good. Like it started with Dark Place. That's some good, good clips of Dark Place. Uh, but it, all the way up to now, it's, it's a good time. I think that's his legal rights to butcher the English language. <laughs> Vamp I mean, as, as... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. Ran out of room for the D. <laughs> That's on the back. With the eyes. Mm-hmm. All Furbies have eyes on the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Now we'll just draw a man with a really big hat. Yeah, because yeah, like I said, all three of them, you have a vampire wearing a long cloak, usually red, and a really big hat. And I don't know why that's the thing. Well, that's, that's the kind of Dracula look, right? Mm. The red cape. Is, is Dracula known for wearing red capes and large hats? Red cape, sure. large hat, maybe not hat, but... You know, it's got a German vibe as well, that's sort of... Uh... Where does the red cape Dracula thing come from? Mm. Because there's a few things, you know, (laughs) now common knowledge, my favourite previously relatively obscure fact about Dracula was that Dracula has a moustache. 
Um, and now everybody's on the Dracula dailies. <laughs> that is now common knowledge. Um, it's really funny now. <laughs> He's got a big old white moustache. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that the Oobs isn't here, right? Yeah, they went off. Um, I forgot Stephen Moffat did a Dracula. <laughs> I love that how you led him to. I can't. You do not mention the M O F F A T when Oobs is nearby. Mm-hmm. And a few clips of Dark Place several years before you actually watched or knew the actual show. You vividly remember seeing that blood, blood, blood bit from the beginning from somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a show that people probably see clips of before they see the whole actual thing. I think we had it on DVD a while ago. It was one of those things that when it came out, no one really knew it existed and it was never advertised and all that. And then five, ten years later, people actually picked up on it. Everyone watched Dark Place. That's weird as well. <laughs> but also very silly. General conceit is old 1980s hospital procedural demonology show <laughs> was made really, really badly and they're only now showing it. <laughs> Love that for now. Also, a lot of the vampires had guns for some reasons. So we're going to give this guy a gun. And oh, that's how else are you gonna defeat the bad guys who have the power of friendship on their side? <laughs> With this gun I found. Well, I mean, in Helsing, the bad guys have the power of Nazis on their side, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm <Right>. not joking. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> no, I think Wait. I knew that. Wait, no, I don't think I knew that. I knew there were Nazis involved. I didn't know it was on the side of the good guys. No, the, the bad guys have the not power of Nazis. Yeah, bad guys, yeah. Oh, the good okay. guys just have guns. Dracula is on the power is on the side of the good guys, but also he's still like really bloodthirsty. So it's weird. Right. Sure, that makes sense. Wasn't this the kind of the yeah. time when Devil May Cry <laughs> came out? Helsing is good, but if you don't, if you've got a sort of weaker stomach, I would not recommend watching it, and or not watching it for long periods of time. <laughs> right. Also, if you don't like Nazis, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I'm sure there's plenty of Nazis that get their comeuppance. Yes. But. Uh... Okay. okay. Well, here we go. Here's our little. <clears throat> Anime nerd. Actually, this, anime nerd. Needs, this, this vampire needs flowing hair. Don't have the flowing hair. I just realized this vampire needs flowing hair because, of course, it does. Yeah, of course. Can't have a vampire without flowing hair. Well, they could. Uh, they could do the hair up in whatever style. Um, Dracula had it in that Bram Stoker film. This is anime. Oh. He has to have flowing hair. Okay. Yeah. Fair we're going also, by anime I... rules here. <laughs> also, I'd just like to point out that I know that the film wasn't made by Bram Stoker. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a Bram Stoker film. <laughs> it was called Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, that would be pretty impressive if he was involved in making the film, though. It would rather, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. He ironically came back from the dead. Okay, here we go. Here's our little anime nerd, Furby, who's yeah. just really excited about... Their first Derby. anime convention. <laughs> oh, I love that, Verna. Very precious. Is this the... No. No. I was going to say, is this the first wholesome one? I guess the sparkly... <laughs> uh... Was that one wholesome? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> Atreus convinced it me wholesome. it was. Atreus yeah. makes a lot of things wholesome. <laughs> I mean, now that I know they're Loki, it's starting to question how wholesome it might be. But... No, it's still well, pretty The thing awesome. you have to remember about God of War is that in God of War, the gods all suck, and the characters <laughs> that are usually portrayed as evil in the myths aren't because the gods suck. 
Oh, I see. The, the basic idea being like, oh, yes, these myths are written by the gods, so they're going to make the people who are fighting against them seem like they suck. <laughs> oh, does, does, does Thor suck? Um, mm, he comes around. Oh, good. <laughs> he doesn't suck as much as other gods, but he does start... He, he does start by trying to beat the crap out of Kratos. It's more like he is the antagonist, but also he doesn't really, like, have, like, any personal reasons to go yeah. against Kratos. That feels it's, appropriate for Thor. <laughs> it's more just that Odin told him he has yeah. to, so now he's doing it, <laughs> and he's kind of like, whatever about it. <laughs> for, from what I remember of my reading of Norse mythology as a kid, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, What's not wholesome yeah. about fire and oops all eyes? Good point. Yeah. <laughs> They're here for you. They're here um, for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the VOD. Uh, <laughs> should we do a quick uh, everybody draw one at, at the same time? Uh, or do we want to do want to stop? Or? I mean, it is. We're at the two hour mark, so I have no preference. I don't mind. Yeah, sure. You yeah. can draw one last one. Draw one, everybody. Why everybody? One last verb. One last um, verb. One for the road. Or three, I guess. Um, yeah. How do we do this? <laughs> do we like draw the same name, or do we like generate no. one for no. each? Well, everybody has gets one. Everybody gets one. I guess the better question is, how are we orienting the canvas? <laughs> uh, however you wish. Um, my, my first instinct was horizontally. <laughs> That's not a good idea. I mean, like, how are we splitting it up? Because we need three sections. Uh, I don't know. Furby's... They're quite square. <laughs> so... <laughs> They're not like really tall and thin or flat and wide, you I know. I mean, I guess doing it vertically still gives us like the most space, I guess. Yeah. I mean, unless we do something like Hold on. I <clears throat> put my thing on the wrong screen again. Mm -hmm. That's not a straight line. Yeah, we don't need straight lines. Where we're going. Hell. <laughs> Sort of like that. <clears throat> yeah. As that was going, I I really wanted it to end up just sort of. Oh, I'm wrong color. I wanted it to be sort of like. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> About you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gets uh, just a really skinny Furby. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kira. Uh, uh, yeah. Refresh the stream. That that hasn't been Frame Man, so that's that's on Twitch's end. Um. But yeah, we can we can do that. We can. We can do that. I accidentally turned off the layer that I had drawn that on. Oops. There we go. We got lines now. Refreshed. Yeah. Hopefully that. Yeah. Helped. Uh, cool. So who's who's doing for who? We went around the same way twice. So should we go back the other way? Sure. So. I'll get one for Ragdoll. Ragdoll for Jib, Jib for me. Right? Okay. Uh, Ragdoll, can you... That'll do. Um, <laughs> didn't need many attempts there. Uh, Ragdoll, can you draw Immortal Noodle? Dot, dot, dot. Immortal Noodle. Immortal Noodle. Dot, dot, dot. Ellipsis. I, I know where this is going. Chris, you're never gonna guess. Uh, Chris, mm -hmm. please, please draw for me. Spaghetti heck, spaghetti off. <laughs> spaghetti heck, spaghetti of. <laughs> yep. Uh. <laughs> so, more noodles. Okay. Should we put the names in Discord so we can keep track of them? Yeah, 
Oops, all nudes. Uh, well, we've got more bizarre. Uh, Cheeb. Yes. I have soda necessary winged comma cash. <laughs> this, is, this is that's an order <laughs> we are robbing you this is a robbery this is a February that's no, the month isn't it mm-hmm Furberary. Yes, welcome to the month of where we're going to draw exclusively Furbies. Oh, no. <laughs> February. There's a drawing challenge for you. Wonder why nobody does February. <laughs> Well, I hate this already. <laughs> this is just going to be a small Furby head. Details right, but that's okay. Also, it is still so awkward drawing with this. It definitely takes some getting used to. I remember when I first got my, uh, I was using bamboo for ages, and I first got a screen tablet. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> this is way more intuitive. I mean, at I least, like, I have on the screen a circle with where my yeah. stylus is. So there is that, but it's like, eh. <laughs> well, someone plays Poppy's Playtime for the first time uh, a day or two ago, and this is giving you flashbacks. Yeah, this, uh, this, this, my apologies. <laughs> Look, the Furby was like probably what properly ingrained in people's memories the idea of horrifying animatronics. I'm pretty sure that the pizza places with the horrible animatronics. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Person. Yeah, yeah, we don't have those, so that makes sense. Like Chuck E. Cheese's has been a thing since I was like six, at least. So early nineties. Whether I've gotten better at drawing Furbies or whether I've gotten better at drawing the duo Lingo Owl. I think the fuzz makes all the difference. Fuzz is not an option where I'm going. I mean, you could make it fuzzy. Uh, somehow that would be worse. Okay, it's one side. What I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not really, like, drawing, drawing anything. <laughs> I'm drawing too many drawing, things. Drawing long, snaky things is hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like you get one side and it's like, okay, that looks good. And then you go on to do the other side and it's like, <laughs> cool. How, was gonna how, do tubes, <laughs> how do tubes work? Oh god, there's so much more to do. I always forget. 
and always point out <laughs> after having forgotten that this part of the stream is just silence. <laughs> It just makes sense. We're all trying desperately to make something that works. And also we're trying to leave it a surprise to horrify everyone else with. Yeah. Yeah, mine isn't really horrifying. I don't know what to do with mine. Uh, how do tubes work? I know, right? <laughs> uh, if I wasn't trying to do this for a stream, I would find this quite therapeutic. Like a kind of zen garden sort of thing. This just is why I don't draw 3D shapes in my classes. I make the computer do it. Computers are good at that sort of thing. If I have some fun music playing during this bit. Nah, just let them stew in silence. <laughs> let them stew. <laughs> I mean, honestly, stew. with these sorts of streams at this point, the, the most appropriate music is probably Yakety Sax. <laughs> I was thinking the countdown theme, but it's not long enough. Also, it probably doesn't mean a lot to anyone outside Britain. This tube is just looking worse and worse. <laughs> oh, dimensions, why? You suddenly add multiple dimensions and then everything falls apart. Go, go back to flat land, we don't need 3D shapes. <laughs> Man down here for scale. Um. There we go. Huh. Pretty much done. Well, I was sort of done, and then Aggie did a weird loading thing, and now I have to redo a few things. Oh.
It happens. Probably works. Yeah, sort of rude of Aggie. But at least it didn't lose much. Seeing that I've mostly been poking at it and going, how do how do tubes work? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> See, drawing is just a series of tubes. Which is why the first thing you should do when learning how to draw is to understand pneumatics. Well, I mean, if we're going to go from a topological sense, most things are just tubes. <laughs> or donuts, or coffee mugs, or... It's got one hole, it's a donut. <clears throat> if it has minus one hole, it's a balloon. Slight. Statement on topology, I know it's not negative one hole, it's a two-dimensional hole, but whatever. Because, you know, that makes more sense to the other people in the room. <laughs> I just want to say, if you want to look up what I mean by that. There's dimensional holes. It's quite interesting. There's a, you um, want to know about dimensional holes. If you, want to know about, if you want to know how many holes a pair of trousers has, look up Matt Parker. He has a good video on holes. I don't like the way you phrase that. <laughs> That's fine. He's a mathematician. He knows a lot about holes. He knows a lot about holes. He knows a lot about holes. Uh, he's from Australia. Do they have a lot of holes there? Sure, why not? There, confirm or deny. <laughs> Lots of holes in Australia. <laughs> you just looked up. Ah, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like there should be. Maybe it's just because every time I see Australia on a thing, it's because somebody in my house is watching that opal mining reality TV show. <laughs> There's a reality TV show about opal mining. <laughs> Oh. Many holes full of friendly creatures. No, nah, happy little troglodytes living in holes. <laughs> I don't know why I went to troglodyte rather than spider, but mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm done basically. Yeah, I have been done. I've just I'm just messing around now. So am I. I have decided to stop figuring out how tubes work. So. <laughs> Yeah, so are we done? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, what was that? What was the rectal? Yeah, I'm good. Yep, yeah, good. Let's zoom out. Oh, let's zooming in. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Shit, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that's a large soda. <laughs> <laughs> but it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, it's necessary. <laughs> also, this feels like it looks even more like the Duolingo owl. <laughs> yeah, I, I said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I've learned how to draw Furby's to stream or what I've learned how to draw the Duolingo owl. <laughs> 
Okay, Bear has a point. I can't be upset with the Bean Furby and then draw this. That is true. <laughs> mm -hmm. I drew them a friend. And then there's the, the, the Immortal Noodle. This is the second row boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, considering the orientation that I gave it, yes, that is a Sekiro boss. It's cool. That is literally a Sekiro boss. That's the dragon boss. Yeah, Immortal Noodle. I'm, I'm, next time we play Sekiro on stream, I will rename the boss the Immortal Noodle. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Also, Funky Colors. Yeah, I had time is, over. <laughs> is Cheeb having too much time in the exam that they have to start colouring in their answers? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, Cheeb, I just noticed that instead of the like Furby crest thing, it's got oh, yeah. it's got a soda can. It's got a soda, <laughs> got yeah. a soda cup. Yeah, exactly. I keep forgetting and, to put uh, that in. Are are you confusing Furbies with My Little Ponies? Is that its cutie mark? <laughs> I mean, listen, maybe its special interest is fountain soda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I feel more creatures should have their special interests on their body. <laughs> Sarah, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, there is there is no way their soda dispenser is going to be able to fill that entire cup. <laughs> so like so. When my dad three refills and it's not working. When, out when my them. dad was younger uh, in college, he worked at a fast food restaurant. Because what else do you do when you are a teenager with like minimal skills? Um, but because the soda, that, well, I should say the components for the fountain soda were so cheap. Um, if they brought their own cup, the employees could take pretty much as much soda as they wanted because the main cost for <laughs> the sodas was the cup. <laughs> but well, I think it. in this case, the main cost of the soda is going to be the soda because that is a lot of soda. Well, it's also a big cup. Um, <laughs> to be fair, you guys, you know, I know surface area increases less than volume does as you expand, but... <laughs> um, I have looked up um, there is a random My Little Pony OC generator okay. I know what we're doing next week then <laughs> so <laughs> maybe get ready for that <laughs> mm. we want to keep doing 90s, is that 90s, 2000s I don't know technically um, I think the first My Little Ponies were in the 80s Oh, oh yeah. It's just wow. there's been multiple generations. Mm -hmm. Uh well the first one I got here was a shark pony. So that sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Fine for well, you. we have Lewis's pony sona. I'll just stick that there before I forget. <laughs> um post this is no, I'm trying to smush together the word pony and sona and it doesn't work. S Sony. S that's just a <laughs> That's just a brand. <laughs> the Sony is the PlayStations. Um Well there we go. We've there's a bunch it. of there's a bunch of stuff. I'd say we put on all the layers, but at some point that's gonna happen. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the layers except for that one? All the layers except for that one, that's fair. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. That one. Actually, if I do put that on, that kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay. There's something really psychedelic going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. This is like, you know, if, if you know, the 1960s Doctor Who actually had colour, they might have done this. <laughs> Chris, the background with that thing just made Sheeves just... <laughs> I, I can see the eyes now. There's just so many eyes. It's, it's only eyes. Only eyes. This, this is what happens. This is what you see when you view a biblically accurate angel. Yes. Yeah. You cannot comprehend their form and only see this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the occasional flash of giant soda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Um, also, it's nice to know that canonically that little uh, little Furby in the knife in the corner, uh, their name's Ragdoll. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Great, I'm now the knife Furby. Yeah. <laughs> you are the knife Furby. Um Yeah, well there we go. That is that was quite something. <laughs> um yeah. Thank you thank you for coming to things and doing things and being here. Whether whether in chat or whether drawing the curses live. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm also trying to save this file for some reason. I don't know why I decided to do this before <laughs> the end of the stream. <laughs> no, either. <laughs> Help! I'm end the stream completely now. messed up. I'm gonna end the stream. I did. I did the abrupt ending yesterday. I can't do it again. I've got to say I mean, goodbye. You can. I feel bad for not saying goodbye. <laughs> I want to say goodbye say to people. Goodbye. You know? They've they've been. Kind enough Just to be say here. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, say everybody. Goodbye to the nice people, Chris. <laughs> goodbye, nice people. <laughs> we'll be back on Tuesday with a game. I haven't decided what yet, but it'll be a game. One game. One game, not Walson Grompt. Not Walson Grompt. Walson Grompt is over. No. Oh, sad times. Have a grand time, everybody. Goodbye. Um, goodbye. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>